Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're in my car now, and we're going to start this off as if... Uh, okay, I just got in the car without a key. All right, so I just sat my butt down, car comes on. All right, uh, Model S. Uh, we already went over uh, the release notes for this firmware version. Oh, my screen flickers. Must be something with the newer the newer uh, screens. Uh, the one at uh, the showroom didn't flicker on the camera, but um, the naked eye doesn't. Anyways, um, let's just go over some of the new features. And we're going to, okay, so pretend, well, I don't have text, so I can't show you uh, the navigation. Um, now, my iPhone ran out of uh, memory to be able to record video uh, at the showroom, so I wasn't able to show demonstrate that um, there, because I was going to do an, I, after I finished uh, the first part of the segment, I was going to go back and, and do the, the uh, nav. Um, unfortunately, no space, no recording, and I didn't have my big camcorder. So, um, all I can say is uh, the automatic traffic uh, routing. That's Mr. Vinny. Everybody knows Mr. Vinny. Say hi, Vin Vin. And, uh, yeah, he's sporting. Go for it. Um, all I can say is um, in the showroom, I sat and I entered in uh, a couple addresses. And um, eh, they're, given the time of day it is, it did a good job routing it around where I knew there were major slowdowns on the freeway and side streets um, going between that destination and uh, the Highland Park and where the destinations I punched in so it looks like it does work uh, but that's all I can say I can't actually demonstrate that for you now the calendar function I can demonstrate you got that nice little calendar app up there so basically to set up the calendar app uh, you, you put something in on your iPhone or Android phone uh, on its built-in ca calendar and uh, I had to connect via Bluetooth and then open the uh, Tesla application on the phone. Uh, the, app, the phone will ask, do you want or will you grant access to your, ca uh, your calendar and events? You click yes and then um, the, the phone will also ask if it can send you push notifications. Hit yes on that as well. And I will show you why. Well, anyways, calendar automatically synced the calendar. Um, now, me tapping it's not going to do anything on my car because I don't have that. Vinny, don't kick my, don't kick the phone, good boy. Um, but clicking it or tapping it should bring up another menu on the tech package cars with nav, uh, asking you for if you want to go to that destination, so on and so forth. So, that's it for that. Next. Because I do have three iPhones, the one I'm recording on. Uh, this one and my old one. So, we're going to hit the Tesla app. I already, uh, it's already updated, and I entered in my username and password. Let's see if I can get a less reflecting angle there. Now, because I, I have the key outside the vehicle and far enough away, this is the big ticket item that I have long waited for to be able to start the car without a key so you hit start on the app allow keyless driving you'll have two minutes to press the brake and start driving yes so I'm going to just move this up here while I punch in you're gonna to have to use the same password that you use to log into the app and your portal on uh, Tesla's website there we go. I enter that in. Keyless driving enabled. So now, let's look back on the center console here. This is freaking awesome. Thank you, Tesla. And I suppose you could almost use this like a valet mode in a way, at least until we get valet mode. So now... <gasps> it's alive! Drive. Reverse. It works. Now let's see what happens when you put it into park. Okay, park. Now I'm gonna lift my rear end off, off the seat, open the door. So now I'm off the pressure sensor. So it's as if I am out of the vehicle. Sit down again. Let's see what happens. Oh, did it turn back on? Hmm. 
I guess the trunk isn't far enough, uh, right behind the car and the ground isn't far enough away for the key fob. So we'll just pretend that didn't happen. Uh, I'll have to play around with that more. Let's see what else the new app provides. I'm recording on the phone that has, that I usually use. Uh, charge screen, not charging, obviously. You can now open your charge port from the app. I do not remember seeing that before. Climate's the same. Uh, location changed a little bit, and uh, I found it's more accurate. Uh, let's go back to the home. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I named my car Enterprise until I can come up with something better. Now, there's this neat little me menu up here now. You hit that. Main controls. If you hit that, it just brings it back to the screen we all know and love. Oh, did you burp? Good boy. Now, notifications. You can set certain notifications for the car. Uh, you can have your phone alert you if your car alarm goes off. When charging has started, charging interrupted and charging complete. Uh, I'm going to turn on for charging complete. Uh, when charging started, I don't need a notification for that. Why? Because I'm the guy that just plugged the car in, although some people would like that. Uh, you know, uh, people that share cars. I'm the only one that drives mine. Uh, Gino and is a little bit too... Uh, he, uh, I take that back. Gino and my niece have driven it once, about three feet. Thank God for the automatic parking brake application if your doors are open. Those two little midgets figure out everything. Um, oh, you can also have the car notify you when there is a software update. So no more running out to your car to keep uh, uh, a couple times a night to check every time if there's a new software update, firmware update. The phone will just tell you. Bonus! Oh yeah, and uh, if I didn't mention charging complete, uh, that one I will really, really like. That would be awesome. Supercharging notifications are always on. I'm not sure what that means yet, but uh, I'm going to be supercharging in just a little while, so it looks like I'll find out. Calendar. You got calendar access. To get calendar events in your car, make sure the following phone settings are on. Calendar access off. What? Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. This is my old iPhone. I just use this one for nav and a few other uh, programs I like to have running while I'm in the car. And thanks to Freedom Pop, uh, it's got free 500 megabytes a month access. Uh, so anyways, on my, on my uh, iPhone that I'm recording with, uh, that is on. Set notifications on. So that means on this phone it will still uh, pop up for those charging events and uh, car alarm and whatnot. Background app refresh on. Uh, turn on. Okay, so let's just uh, exit the app for a second. You know what? I'm going to just let's just kill all this. All right. Now, uh, just to show you, just to reconfirm, there is security with the car start. Cause I, uh, I, at first, I was a little nervous about because I leave this phone in my car. Someone just walking up, opening the app, and starting my vehicle. But every time you want to start the car you're going to have to enter in that password once again. So, um, no worries there. The longer the password, the more secure that will be. We're just going to... Uh, it's raining. Open oh, my garage door first. Give me just one minute, Bobo, and I'll get you right out. Put the coffees on the floor because you're going to throw them. I know you, you little stink man. Yes. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Hi. Yeah. All right, good boy. Another thing was door handle sensitivity. Uh, this is something I've been complaining about. Where's my key? Let's see. Oh. Why am I opening my trunk? There it is. This is something I, I have been complaining about since I got the car, or my handles not being very responsive. Let me lock the door. Let's see what happens. 
That's probably the best this car's ever unlocked. Let's see with the fob out. Yeah, usually it takes four or five presses. That's the best that has ever worked. Um, that and when I picked up uh, the Marshmallow Man, Vinny, from school, um, the, the handles had automatically, you know, retracted themselves. The car wasn't locked. And I barely tapped them and they extended. Um, usually, I even when the car's unlocked, I have to press them three or four times for, the, for them to extend unless I hit the, uh, the key fob twice. Uh, so... Overall, I'm very satisfied with the software update. There are a few things I'm disappointed that it does not have. Uh, namely, no valet mode. Not that I ever use valet mode, but uh, uh, I know a lot of people are interested in that. Uh, we really would like video access on that center screen. And don't tell me you can't do that with that Tegra 3 processor that you guys have, Tesla. Uh, YouTube and uh, Netflix would be really really appreciate maybe a netflix app oh there we go they self retract let's see what happens now look at that beautiful that is just amazing uh yeah a netflix app would be absolutely amazing uh and while i know it would, would not be legal to have it playing while the car's in motion uh, have it running while we're supercharging maybe or at a complete stop or parked would be very much welcome and would help keep kids quiet during road trips. Uh, I can't think of anything else at the moment. Um, everything else was pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, the door handles though, that, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's the first time my handles have worked correctly since I got the car without having to hit them multiple times. I could see still having to maybe double tap it when, uh, or triple tap it while the car's locked because its software has to wake up, so on and so forth, verify the keys within range. But, uh, it retracted. Let's do this again. Oh, now it's extending just like that brand new car sitting in the showroom. Beautiful. All right, well, I better start uploading this video and, um, uh, thank you, Tesla, for at least uh, giving us a great update here, and uh, I hope we see some more good features implemented fairly soon. Please bring us Netflix app, please. And I know it's probably going to eat up lots of cellular data, so even if you guys don't want to do it over the built-in AT&T connection, because I know you're, it's still on Tesla's dime, allow us to do it over Wi-Fi, because there's so much Wi-Fi sitting around, especially near superchargers and all the businesses around. Or we could even pipe it through our own hot spots, so on and so forth. Oh, that little stinker took his shoes off. Okay, uploading this video. Cheers.